Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're gonna be using state flow to design a very simple traffic light system. So it's just gonna be a traffic light system state machine. So let's just quickly run through the logic of what that's gonna look like. So if you imagine that we've got three states, one is, let's call it stop. Uh, what's the uh, amber one called? Let's call it prepare to stop. Prepare to stop and go, right? So we're gonna have these three states. And what we're going to do is we're going to have three variables that control so three output variables that control three leds right so you have red you have yellow or it should be called amber right but, and you have green and so you're going to have those they're going to exist inside each state so you have it like that and like that and so you'd have for green you'd have zero zero one for prepare to stop you'd have like that and like that so it's very important that you you get comfortable with the logic of what you're trying to do first as opposed to just start designing state machines so what we're going to do as well is we're going to transition from this state machine this state to this state to this state after a set period of time so like i said the very simple um traffic light system it would be cool if we could you know get to a stage where we can design a really complex one so instead of for example you'd have for example stop and then you'd have it stop and then after let's say 10 seconds go to amber all right prepare to stop and then after two seconds then you go to go and then after, let's say, 30 seconds, I mean, that wouldn't make sense. I suppose this, if this was the main road and it was, you know, it was at a cross junction with a side road, maybe that would probably make sense. So you stop your red for 10 seconds, then your amber or yellow for two seconds, and then your green for 30 seconds. So let's go with that. It's nice and simple. So again, for this video, I am going to just build the state machine quickly just so that you can just see it, see me do it in action. And then I'm going to break down in detail the, you know, the way in which I do everything and all of the various different shortcuts that I use. So don't worry about it if it's all a bit too fast for you. Yeah, let's make some space. Okay, so let's call this one stop. For this one, uh, prepare to stop. And let's call this one, go. Uh, probably make a bit more space between them. Go here, here. Okay, so like I said, this is going to be a very basic traffic light. And I'll tell you the main reason why I say it's basic. If you look over here at our initial plan, we're going to go from red to amber to green and then straight back to red. Now, obviously, that's not ideal. Ideally, you'd want to go back to amber. However, it's actually a bit more difficult to implement. You'd have to use variables, and I want to keep this fairly simple, so I'm not going to use the variables. I'm going to create a very basic one. But for those who are a bit more advanced, what I mean is that if I have transitions, for example, here to here and here to here, right, and then I wanted to go back to here and then back this way, You'd get caught in an infinite loop here. So you'd go from stop to prepare to stop. You'd go, then go to go. Then you'd come back to amber. And then it's it's not going to go here. It's going to go up to here because this is in this inside this day. It's going to go along this way. So maybe I'll show you what I mean you know, another time. But basically, we'd have to use you know some variables and stuff to make sure that it goes back to stop. So let's not do that for now. We'll create just a simple basic one in which we go from stop to prepare to stop. Let's just move this down here. And then we'll go prepare to stop to go. And then we'll go from go back to stop. That's what I mean by a super basic one. Okay. So let's just use some after transitions. So Stapler has some functions where you can basically have a timer to say after 10 seconds. Go from stop to prepare to stop. And then after two seconds, go to go. And then 
after 30 seconds, go to stop. And we can run that. It's going to go very fast. So you can see you didn't even see it there. But if we go stop time infinite, so we have it running for an infinite amount of time, you can see it going very quickly. So obviously you can't really make sense of this. So what you want to do is come up over here to debug and then change the animation speed down to slow and then run it. And now you'll be able to see the transitions a lot more smoother. All right, so that's that's pretty much it for our, for you know the the design of the state machine. So let's now use what we said here about the variables red, yellow, and green. So what we'll do is we'll say upon entry, and again, don't worry about what these things mean. I'll go into more detail about them. But we have a variable red is equal to zero, um, a variable yellow is equal to zero and a variable green is equal to zero and then i'm just going to copy and paste this into each one okay now i'm going to make green one make yellow one there and make red one there cool so now we can run it again and so it's telling me that i didn't define the variables which i always do over here, I just I can just define define the variables here. They're all defined now as outputs. So if I go over to here to Simulink, then you can see I've got green, red, and yellow. And actually, one thing I'd like for you to do, it'd be a good practice for you, is if you come over here to the library browser and type lamp, you could actually create three lamps like so. Right? And you could change the color from obviously. This is these are the wrong way around. So what you'd do is you'd come over here and say, um, or are they the wrong way around? Which way is red? Is red's at the top right and green's at the bottom? Yeah, red. So red, red should be number one, and then green number three, and yellow number two. Cool. You come back to here. So what you need to do is you need to use a constant similar to what we did last time to control these lights. It's a bit difficult to figure out, but try it give it a go it's you you know you'd get it in five minutes um and then so you basically want to connect a constant to that that controls each light from red amber and green so give that a go but yeah so here now we have our three variables as outputs if we run it now so you're going to see that the obviously each variable will be changing and that's it we have our very simple traffic light system yeah, so what you could do is if you wanted to make it so that from green it went back to amber or yellow then you could use a variable there so that it could detect for example when it's just been in go you could set you could set a variable like a flag to say okay i've just been in go now so then if for example you'd say if that flag is detected then it will go across back to stop as opposed to going back to go again so again, I'll leave that to you because I want to keep this simple. It'd be really cool if you can make it so that it goes back to prepare to stop. And also, if you could make it such that it could deal with these lamps. So I'll show you, for example, if you if we go to stop, you can change the color of the lamp here. Like so. And you can do the same red yellow, green, and then you can get them controlled. It, that would be really cool if you could do that. And let me know if you do manage to do it. Let me know if you run into any problems and you've tried, like not you haven't tried, but if you've actually tried for a decent amount of time and you can't get it to work, let me know and I'll help you out in the comments. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and I shall see you in the next one.